after the boss was down about 1.24%. Has profit taking continued onto the market today? Yes, uh, profit taking continued today. The market uh, closed down about 1.3% uh, today. As you mentioned earlier, um, there's a lot of um, supply really as uh, debtors try to pay off debts. Um, another two things um, appear to be denting confidence in the market. Um, one, of course, is the level of provisioning by banks. Um, a number of them are still yet to release um, earnings uh, figures. And the, bank, the market is yet to fully digest uh, the level of provisioning required by the CBN. Um, the other, of course, is the CBN is the um, credit squeeze, that is, um, which has persisted and is likely to persist into next year. Um, the, um, how, how long do you expect this trend to last for Deji? Well, I mean, it is, you know, to say the least, likely to last into, um, into the end of the year. Um, I mean, as we go forward, of course, uh, banks start to think about harmonizing their year ends and all the banks start to try to shore up their liquidity levels and deleverage. And what that means uh, really is that, you know, they're going to put a freeze on, on lending and um, liquidity will start to, you know, get quite tight in public. Uh, the private sector is likely, you know, to receive much less in terms of funding from the banking sector as we head into the year end. And that will have implications for the equity markets. Well, before we get into the Transcorp results, paint us a picture of what this company actually entails. Well, I mean, Transcorp um, has, has been in the media um, recently more for its role in uh, NITEL. Um, it, of course, acquired about 51% of NITEL for about $500 million, um, um, which was funded through debt um, uh, from a consortium of about five banks. Um, now, those, those debts have pretty much been taken off its book um, due to an agreement between the Bureau of Public Enterprises and uh, the consortium of banks. And um, as you know, we we'll see from the results of, uh, of the company, it's now able to eke out a profit, whereas it had a huge loss uh, last year. How did it make its profit? Where, where would you attribute it to? Well, for one thing, the um, interest burden that um, it, it has had to bear in the, the last couple of uh, quarters uh, has been taken off its back, uh, which is positive for earnings. Um, uh, and on the other hand, it has uh, the Transcorp Hilton Hotel, um, which has been quite lucrative um, since it took it over. It's, of course, a 670-room hotel in Abuja, uh, which is quite uh, well located and um, has, has um, received a lot of, um, in fact, its occupancy rates have increased quite significantly since um, the takeover by uh, Transcor, you know, so it's been quite good for its earnings. And barring a lot of the interest burden from the NITEL deal, um, it's, it's um, able to push a profit uh, to investors now. Well, Transcorp has different divisions, for example, energy, hospitality, telecommunications. Would you say hospitality is where growth is coming from for Transcorp going forward? Yes, I mean, that, that's, where, that's where the profitability has been. Um, in terms of growth, though, I suspect the company um, will really have to look at other sectors. Energy, of course, um, is, is, is a positive sector, has a positive outlook, um, and the company will need to really position that the constraints, as always, is funding. Um, with the deal um, with NITEL, um, it will have to, you know, sort of go back to fi financial institutions to raise money to play an active role in the energy sector, um, which, you know, might be slightly difficult given the current um, environment. Um, so for the near term, um, it will be able to survive on, on um, the hospitality business, but to grow business significantly, um, it will have to do a bit more. It might need uh, significant financing to push through its plans. All right, and just before we go, give us how the Naira is trading today, the outlook for it. Well, the Naira at uh, yesterday's, uh, during yesterday's primary market activity dipped um, a bit. Um, the CBN, of course, is seen as taking the stance of uh, being happy with the Naira at about 150 Naira to a dollar. Um, the CBN only supplied about 200 million relative to about 280 million uh, dollars uh, demanded. Um, at this level, the NARA is likely to be stable. Um, what we've seen is that uh, the disparity between the uh, official and the parallel markets has pretty much uh, disappeared, which is quite positive for the currency. And given that uh, the CBN appears to be taking 
the, uh, the stance that um, is happy with the Naira here. We're likely to see it at these levels um, in the near term.